So let's talk about the setup for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier Season 2, or what Marvel tells us is coming next, which is Captain America and the Winter Soldier Season 1. Boy, that's gonna get really confusing for Joe Popcorn who can't tell the difference or just understand what happened in the series he watched. But yeah, let's talk about the setup for Season 2. So there is a lot of leftover material for the future of this franchise, specifically a new iteration with Sam Wilson no longer being the Falcon as he's now just Captain America and Bucky Barnes is still the Winter Soldier, hence why at the end, when the title credits roll, it says Captain America and the Winter Soldier. That's their next step. We've heard rumors and them teasing that this could be one of the series that gets a follow-up season. I think that much is very clear. There's definitely so many plot threads and things to follow that you're not going to do it just everywhere else because you have to tie it in eventually with other elements of the MCU. But also, there's so many leftover things to deal with that a second season, I think at this point, is a given, just a matter of when. So for example, John Walker as US agent is still out there. He's active, he's allowed to be that character, and he's working with a villain. So, you know, there we go, we have Valentina calling some of the shots. Another example, the power broker, Sharon Carter. She's still out there, she's talking to mysterious figures, she's now working for the government and has access to all of the government's secrets, and she is a black market dealer of information and secrets. That's a big plot thread. Leftover people that may or may not have been connected to the Super Soldier Serum and the Flag Smashers. Because, yes, they say, you know, oh, here's how it goes and here's the amount and here's what was done. You're not gonna tell me that they, uh, did not try to save some of the Super Soldier Serum or it was all in just one laboratory that got burned down. That's, that's not happening. Baron Zemo is in the raft with who knows who and what plan they're hatching. Sam Wilson is now Captain America. Bucky Barnes has met his demons, he's more comfortable now. He realizes that he's gotta move on and become something more than just somebody that mopes around and feels guilty about what he did when he wasn't in control of his actions or emotions. Oh, there is tons of Flag Smashers left around the planet. We even saw them try to help the Flag Smashers that were captured before they got blown up. But yeah, they're out there. They're still going to be pushing that movement. Who was the dude in the car? Look like Prince Philip. Somehow. He returned. I mean, there is tons of leftover plot threads that they can deal with, and I definitely think when you look at all of this and combine it all together, we're definitely going to get some follow-up with this. Whether it's a second season, which I believe that's definitely going to happen, or a first season of a new series with a new name, or they deal with it somewhere else in the MCU, or these characters just end up showing up in other series to further these plot threads. I think a combination of all of them, though, is what's going to happen, because this is the MCU, and that's sort of the next thing. 